A while back, I posted in Facebook that I have successfully made my 22-year-old cathode ray tube or CRT TV to work like an Android TV by spending just less than 1,000 pesos. It received a wide interest from people and asked me through comments and personal messages how I did it. So I decided to put up this video and maybe help more people who want a cheap solution to an Android TV. Let me show you my TV first. So this is a Samsung TV, which I bought 22 years ago. My son is 16 years old now, so this TV is older than him. That is the model. And let's look at the port. It only has an antenna and an RCA. It's not even a full RCA. Only one for audio and the yellow for the video. It also has a port in the side so let's look at the side but this one also goes to the same audio video input so that's it the really heavy old CRT TV okay so here's what we need the TV box it came from this box let's put it aside this is the TV box MX Q Pro and we have three USB ports here and card slot so we can watch movies here and we all we have an hdmi and another usb cable spdif and ab port which is not working i've already tested that i've uh, bought 3.5 mm to rca cable and it doesn't work and that's why we need another device to make it work this one which i'm going to show you later so we have the hdmi cable from the box it's a good one and the uh, power cable and this is round by the way doesn't come with any adapter so you need your own adapter to make it flat we need the flat plug and we have the remote and this remote needs two AAA batteries and then another one that we need is the HDMI to AB converter or scaler so it looks like this it's an HDMI input, you can see the input, and an RCA output. And it comes with this uh, micro USB power. It doesn't come with a charger, so you need your own charger. Since we need to plug it up to make it work, it doesn't work if you don't plug it in. Let me put that in. Okay let's start connecting everything so first is the power cord it will only fit the one hole there so you won't miss it and then let's go to the hdmi cable it only has one hdmi port so just plug it in and the other side goes to the scaler the input hdmi of the scaler okay plug it in and then for the rca let me just get the RCA cable, okay? So plug it in for yellow, white, and red of the scaler. And the other side of the RCA cable goes to the TV, of course. Right? Yellow for a video and uh, the audio. You can use only one here because my TV only has one, but I want to get the left and right audio, so I use an adapter. Just to recap, the HDMI out of the box goes to the HDMI in of the scaler and the RCA out of the scaler goes to the RCA in of the TV. Okay, so now we're re ready to plug in. Let's plug in the TV, plug in the scaler, and plug in the TV box. Okay, you can see the blue light on. It's booting up now. Let's just wait for it to boot up. Okay. There we go. First things first, you need to set up your Wi-Fi. You can also use a LAN cable if you're near your router or modem. 
but to set up the Wi-Fi go to the settings then find the network and turn on the Wi-Fi select the Wi-Fi network enter your username and password and you're good to go when it's connected let's try watching from YouTube there you go it's loading this TV box since it's cheap it only has one gig of RAM so it's lower than the high-end phones or tablets let's try 24 horas live streaming ang pinakamalalaking balita ngayong araw na linggo inmate na nagnangalan JB Sebastian alright it's working now let's try Netflix Alright, we are now in Netflix and I need to sign in but it's hard to sign in using the remote so I'm going to use a mouse. Yes, you can plug in a mouse and a keyboard here. Just plug it in in the USB and it will work. As you can see, I'm using my mouse now to sign in. Okay, I'm in. Okay, now we can watch our favorite Netflix show on an old CRT TV, right? Alright, just think of the TV box as a tablet and your screen is the TV. And we need this device so we can decode the HDMI signal to be an RCA signal as an input to the CRT TV. And just like any other tablets, you can go to the Play Store and install any games or application that you want. Cool, right? As an added bonus, I'm going to show you a very sophisticated box which I designed which can organize your TV box and the scaler. Let me present you my design. Ta -da! <laughs> Here we go, very organized, right? We have a hole for the remote and the RCA, a hole for the scaler power and the HDMI. And for the power and another hole for the mouse and when you're done using it just cover it and then we can put the power brick here another power brick for the scaler the mouse and then the remote and then we just cover it up with the cloth and it's dust proof now okay Hope you enjoyed the video. Please note that I am not officially endorsing any products here. What I am endorsing is the thriftiness of MacGybering any of your old appliances to make it relevant again. If you have any other questions related to this topic, please ask away in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Give me a thumbs up or down if you'd like or dislike this video. Keep safe everyone and Nelasuch for watching. Novaer.